Hi there. So I want to go ahead and add social media icons to my website. Now Divi naturally puts them up here on top, so we're going to go ahead and do that. When I first created this page, since I did not have Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, I turned off the social icons. So we're going to go ahead and turn those back on. And then I'm going to add a couple that are not included in the theme options panel. So I'll show you how to do that. Well, one way I'll show you how to edit the social icons PHP page and another I'll show you how to add it using a plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first things I want to do is I want to come over here to my theme options and which you're going to get to by going to Divi theme options and opening that. Now I've already typed in my Facebook profile, my Twitter profile and my Google Plus profile to save us time. So what you want to make sure is in your theme options that you have the show Facebook icon, show Twitter icon, show Google Plus icon, all enabled. So you want to make sure you enable them or whichever ones you're using. So if you don't have a Twitter account, you would disable that. Since I have all three of those, I'm going to enable it. Now I also want to add Pinterest. And as you can see, there's no icon for that or any place down here to put it. And I want to add my YouTube channel. So I'll show you how to do those in a moment. So we're going to go ahead and add all those. We'd come down here and save the changes. So now what we want to do is come over here to Theme Customizer. Up here to Header Navigation. Header Elements. We want to go ahead and check the show icons. And we're going to save and publish that. So now when we come over here to our page and we hit Refresh, so you can see that now I now I have up here my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Google+. So like I said earlier, I want to add YouTube and Pinterest to it. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, one method of doing that is to actually edit the social icon page. And if you come here to Appearance and Editor, you can see your theme. I'm in my child theme. So if you're in your Divi theme, you can see you have all these extra pages and one of them is the social icons PHP. So what we want to do is add this page to our child theme. So you will need to have a child theme to do this. If you do not have one, I have a video on how to add a child theme. I recommend that you do it. So the method that I'm going to add the social icons PHP page is using the child theme that I have uploaded. If you do not have this same child theme, you want to check your instructions for your current child theme or you can literally download this page here the social icons PHP page and upload it into your child theme directory because we're just going to make edits to it so let me show you how to do that real quick so I'm going to come here to tools child themes again I have child theme configurator so I'm going to come up here to files and you can see these are all the templates it has and one of them right here is the social icons PHP page. So what I want to do is copy that to my child theme. As you can see down here, it is now added right there. So we'll come down to appearance, to editor. We'll make sure we're in the Divi child up here. And now you can see I have the social icons PHP. So we'll click on that. And these are the icons that you see the Facebook, the Twitter, the Google, and the RSS, which I don't have turned on. So what I want to do now is add YouTube. So the easiest way I know is to go here to where it says question mark PHP end if question mark in the closing bracket here. I'm going to copy that up until right here where the beginning of that PHP code is. And then I'm just going to hit control C. And I'm going to put my YouTube channel between my Twitter and my Google icon. So I'm going to place my cursor here and I'm going to paste it. So now if I updated my file now, what you would see is we should have two Google Plus icons. See? So we want to change this Google Plus to YouTube. So what we need to do now is change where it says Google icon. We're going to go ahead and change that to YouTube. So Divi comes with a bunch of fonts that has the social media icons and I'll actually link a page that'll take, take you to a listing of those. So what we want to do is anywhere here where it says Google Plus, we're going to change that to YouTube. So we'll change it there. We're not going to change that one. We'll change this one here. 
just so it says YouTube. And on this line right here, where the ahref and the see this quotation mark here in between that quotation mark all this we'll get rid of that so this is where you want to place your link to your web page in my case it's going to be the youtube channel so i'll go ahead and cut and paste my youtube channel right there and now i'm going to update my file and if we come up here and refresh You'll see I now have the YouTube channel. If I click on it, it takes it to my YouTube channel. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have all of these open up in a new tab. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So what we want to do is right here, in between these brackets, we want to put target equals quotation underscore blank. That tells it to open up this page in a new blank tab. So I'm going to update the file. Let's come back here and refresh. So this time when I hit the YouTube, it opened it up in a new tab. So let's do that for all of them now. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and we'll place it there. So now all of my icons up here, when I refresh it, will open up into the new page. So now I can just by doing the same method, I could just copy all of these and I could do Pinterest and I could do Tumblr and Instagram. Now let me show you another way. Now this one will actually require you purchasing a plugin called Divi Booster. Now I have Divi Booster here. So if I come here to settings, we'll come up here to site wide settings, icon. Here you can see where I can easily add social media icons. So I'll click on that. I'm going to add my Pinterest site. I'm going to tell it to open it in a new tab. I'll come down here, I'll save my changes. As you can see now I have Pinterest open up into a new tab. Now if you notice that one was much quicker. That was a much quicker method of doing it. With Divi Booster you get a lot of options where you can make changes throughout your site. It really does enhance Divi. So I will actually leave a link to Divi Booster as well. And you can go ahead and check that out. It's, uh, it's one of the plugins I do recommend getting. As you can see I do actually have it. All right, so that's how you add social icons to your top menu up here. As you can see, you can add Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus and RSS via the theme options. And then you can either edit the social icons PHP or use Divi Booster to add additional social media pages. So as of the recording of this video, since I've just recently added the Facebook and the Twitter and the Google Plus and those pages. I really don't have any friends or subscribers. So I'm going to add links to my pages in my description. So hopefully you'll go ahead and friend me and follow me on these social media sites. Makes me feel good. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please hit like and we'll see you next time.